Hello everyone, I'm back again and I will just repeat that for the purposes of the recording is that when you're doing your CPR, just a couple of pointers from that video clip, is that you need to be doing your assessment CAB. You have 10 seconds in which to assess the patient and start CPR because you have five to six minutes of oxygenated blood floating around and so you'd need to uh, circulate that. You need to use the, the heel of your hand to actually compress the heart and allow for recoil. So, and to do it at about 100 to 120 beats per minute. Um, putting on the AED pads, you can put the pads on whilst the compressor is still going on. I was concerned that there was no CPR going on for over 10 seconds. So, um, you want to make sure that while the person is putting on the pads that compressions go on, although during analysis you need to stand clear and stand back. And so, to redo it again if I need to. So, just reminding everybody, CPR is always a CAB, cardiac airway breathing. You always want to start your compressions uh, as soon as possible because you want to maintain adequate circulation with the, the five to six minutes of oxygen. Respiratory arrest. The respiratory arrest, especially in view of our opioid crisis nowadays, that you want to um, make sure that, again, I, I'm not advocating that we do mouth to mouth, but that it would be a consideration if that was your younger sibling or your brother or sister, you may consider doing CPR. So with a, with a, a respiratory arrest, and you'll see this in the hospital, you may just want to, if the patient is becoming bradypneic, you may want to put in an oral airway and bag the patient um, once every six, six seconds or 10 times per minute. Rescue breathing is 10 to 12 times per minute. I just want to see what other things I want to do. Oh, C-spine precautions. I C-spine precautions, and I, I just wanted to... C-spine precautions, and we talked about it a little bit earlier in the semester. Uh, C-spine precautions are to be initiated when anybody has an injury from the shoulders up to the head. And so C-spine precautions require five people, although the video I had for you showed three. It, sh it should really be five people, someone at the head, and what your job and what I do is I take my thumbs and put it on their sort of reaching to their clavicle, put my fingers underneath their shoulders, and I tense up my forearms around their head. And on, I would be the one to leverage, I'd be the one to count, and on my count, one, two, three, we're going to turn, and I'm keeping the head in an immobilized position. Anybody that's fallen, I have somebody faint and hit their head, I'm going to do C-spine precautions. Um, I one, so uh, the other thing we've talked a little bit about neuro around seizure precautions. If somebody's experienced a seizure, nothing goes in their mouth. You could reposition them in the recovery position once the seizure's over. Um, always timing the seizure. I want to know how long it's lasting, how long that tensing and relaxing or that tonic-clonic uh, action is occurring. So I would time it. Anything that's starting to get more than 30 to 45 seconds, I want to call 911. Um, because this may be going on for quite a prolonged period of time and they're not getting oxygen. The one thing I did want to speak to you about in a little bit more detail, and I'm hoping that I'm not, I'm hoping that I'm, I'm pretty clear right now. So the one thing that you will want to know about is malignant hyperthermia. Now malignant hyperthermia is a genetic condition and it occurs, it, it was the hyperther malignant hypothermia occurs in a small part small part of the population years ago we used to have pockets so up in northern um, uh, york region there was a pocket of um, of hyperthermia okay let me see there's a little chat message coming in to me let me see what it has to say Okay.
I, I was just typing him. Let me see if I got that in my chin. Ah, did I get it? What would you like to do, folks? Do you want to take a 15-minute break and then we'll try and reconnect? Um, or do you want me just to continue recording this? I'll wait till I get a better recording. How would you like to handle this? I, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Do you want to take a 15-minute break and come back at 10 o'clock? And if you're available, that's great. And if not, we'll, I'll have this all archived. All right, everyone. Thanks for your patience. See you at 10 o'clock.